Hey guys, it's Liz. Welcome back. So in today's cleaning video, I'm going to be deep cleaning my kitchen. I'm going to be going through all of my cupboards, cabinets, refrigerator, and pantry and decluttering a bunch of things and organizing it. So if you guys are looking for a little motivation, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is clean out my fridge. I'm gonna be taking basically everything out of the fridge because I wanna wipe it down. I'm also gonna be looking at all of the food and seeing what's good and bad and what I should throw away. And I actually just went grocery shopping. So right now I'm just taking all of the fruit and putting it into these containers that I got from Costco. These are so cool because you could rinse them and like drain them and just pop the bottom part on and you can just put it back in the fridge and it looks so pretty. And now I'm just gonna be looking through this door right here and kind of just mailing like the cheeses and looking at the expiration date and seeing what's good and bad. Um, as you can tell, this cheese was extra moldy, so it just got to go. Okay, so before we continue on with today's video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to New York and Company for sponsoring today's video. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick little haul of everything that I got from there. And I'm also gonna be leaving links to everything that I talk about so you guys can just click it and shop, it's really easy. I actually have on some of their clothing items right now. So this is like the first top that I got. It's like this really pretty white blouse and I just tucked it in these shorts. Also from New York and Company, they're just like these really cool floral shorts and they're super comfy and high-waisted of course, because <laughs> you guys know me, I love me some high-waisted anything. I also went ahead and tied it to the side and yeah, that is it for this look. I also got some sandals to match. So I really like these sandals. They're like the perfect staple sandals. So if you guys have been catching on to like what type of shoes I've been wearing, you know I've been like really rocking like those heels, like the super big wedges. But I wanted to switch it up because I can't wear those everywhere. Like if I wanna go to like the park with the kids or just somewhere, I just wanna take it easy on my feet. These are like the perfect staple white sandals for me to wear. They're really pretty and they do have like a tiniest little heel, but not anything as near as big as my other heels that I have. So the next ones I picked up are these really cool white sneakers. They're really soft and they'll go with literally anything that I wear and they're really comfy as well. So these last two pieces I'm gonna show you guys, I actually wore this on Mother's Day and I got so many compliments. A lot of you guys asked me where I got this from. So this is how the top looks. It's so, so pretty. I felt like literally so angelic in this. It's cropped, it has like these really pretty um, lace details. I think this ties in perfectly with the skirt I'm about to show you guys. So here is how the skirt looks and with this top, it was like a whole look. And I felt so pretty when I wore this on Mother's Day. And as you guys can tell, like the sleeves match the bottom of this skirt. So it was like, it was like a whole little set, I guess. So yeah, that is everything that I did get from New York and Company. If you guys liked anything, feel free to shop my links in the description box. And again, a huge thank you to New York and Company for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get back into today's video. Wow, what a huge transformation my fridge went through. So now I'm gonna be focusing on this fruit bowl right here. As you guys can tell, there are some old fruit. I'm just gonna toss those. 
and I also decided to wash the fruit bowl. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this all the time, but mine was sticky, so I just decided to, you know, clean that up. And I'm also gonna be adding all the fresh fruit in since I did just go grocery shopping, and I just love when this thing is full. It just makes the kitchen look so pretty. Now it's time for the moment I've been dreading. Pantry. Okay, so I noticed this about my pantry. I definitely need to go and get like a container or like a trash bin for all the recyclables because I have this bad habit of just like stacking it up in the pantry, expecting Eric to just go and like toss it. But you know what? He never does. So I definitely think I need a trash bin just for the recyclables because it's just getting ridiculous now. And now I'm just slowly taking things out of the pantry. I'm also gonna be wiping down all of like the shelving area. I took out all of the bins so I can just go and like organize and put like the snacks like in a neat spot and kind of just like doing my own little thing here. I can't really explain it. I'm just randomly putting things in places that I think will look good. And now I'm just gonna be cleaning up the rest of the kitchen. I got this huge bag of spinach that I need to put it in freezer bags to like not waste this. I don't want the, the spinach to go bad and I haven't had the chance to. And oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I didn't know how bad tulips get, like the scent is gross, like I could not believe how bad it was. So I went to go get comfy and now I'm just going to be spraying the sink down with some bleach to get rid of that foul scent the dead tulips left behind. Okay, so now it is time for the moment I've been so excited for. So as you guys can tell, I got a new vacuum cleaner. If you're brand new to my channel, I've been using the Shark, what is it called? I don't know, I'm gonna leave it right here, but I've been using that vacuum for so long. I love that vacuum for so long. It's been loved for the past two to three years now. I'm so excited to get this one. I got it for Mother's Day. And let me tell you guys, it is a real game changer. It makes my life so easy now. Non-sponsored too, by the way. We got this with our own money. So many places still undiscovered. But yeah, I do love it. I got the V7. So I think I might go one up because the battery life on this one kind of sucks to be honest. Story you should see.
So to be honest guys, I actually filmed all of this stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys um, before you saw everything that you just watched, but I don't know why I kind of puzzled it like this. But right now I am going to be going through every single drawer, every single cupboard, and just decluttering all the things I don't need. And of course, just organizing everything as I go. This one literally we have nothing with this one. Maybe this could be here. Huh. Well, this is an issue. This is your problem drawer. You know, motel six feet or camera stuff. There's an extra battery and a memory card. Like that's where that went. <laughs> This one, um, and that is it. I like them all. No, this side could be some work. Here, should put the cup somewhere else. Tupperware should be here. I don't have any cups. Okay, I'm gonna do So we're gonna move this toaster. It has a lot of crumbs, so I gotta shake that off a lot. So these I bought when Ethan first started preschool. Never got a chance to really use them that much. And now I love the bento ones where it's just like one container and it's just like little sides. So I think I'm just gonna maybe, I don't know, I don't know if to donate them or just toss them. Do you think people donate these stuff? I'm pretty sure no, it's like the whole collection. Yeah. So I'll probably just donate them. 
So I'm just putting it in my handy dandy state of brother's bag. Oh, look at the little teeth. I'm keeping these. These are like my holiday stuff. And then all these plates, we definitely don't even use all of these for the kids. So I'm just minimalizing our things that we use. And then now I have to go through this stuff too. I should I even keep these? What is that? These are like little cutouts so I can like cut out their food. I've never really done it. What kind of food is that small? Like cheese or... I don't know. I'll keep it just in case I'm feeling creative. This needs to be in the garage, right? Mm -hmm. My gosh, this one's insane. This is crazy. Look at it all. It's in my drawer. No. The drawer needs to get it checked. Yeah. Look, we're gonna actually sell this. This is our old dress. It's just been thrown no, here. We're the animal. So a part of decluttering and all of that is trying to sell the stuff that you don't want anymore or that you have like doubles of. So everyone wants to help me, so I told her she can take a picture of the coffee maker. Let me clean it up real quick, and then you can take a picture of it once it's finished, okay? Okay. You gotta take the good angles though, okay? Ready? Good job, Emma. I'll take a picture of you. <laughs> okay, enough. <laughs> Okay, so the last thing I'm going to be doing is wiping down all of the cabinets with some in-dust and a microfiber cloth. I have black cabinets, so I feel like you can see a lot of the smudges and marks, so I like to do this ever so often to keep them clean. And yeah, that is basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up for more cleaning videos from me. Comment down below and let me know what you guys are gonna be cleaning next, like what big thing that you guys wanna clean next. I'm curious to know. Mine is definitely gonna be my laundry room. Get ready for that video, it's coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.